اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم From now onwards, we are going to focus on his process macro. I'm going to do a series of videos on how to use his process macro for data analysis. But before we go on and analyze our data using his process macro, we should first understand what is a process macro and how do we install it in SPSS. What is a process macro? Process is an observed variable OLS, Ordinary, Least, Squares and Logistic Regression Path Analysis Modeling Tool. Now it is widely used through the social business and health sciences for estimating direct and indirect effect that is mediation analysis in a single and multiple mediator models where you can have parallel or serial mediation. Two and three way interactions in moderation model that is you can model moderation as well using process macro. Along with a simple slope and regions of significance for probing interactions and conditional indirect effects that is moderated mediation model as well are possible using process macro. With process macro in SPSS, it gives you the liberty to analyze complex mediating and moderating relationship. So you can have multiple mediators, maybe parallel, serial, you can have multiple moderation analysis maybe one, two moderators affecting a different relationship. You can do moderated mediation as well. The role of process macro is primarily linked to analysis of indirect effects, that is mediation analysis and moderation analysis. And that could be more simple or complex moderation analysis. Conditional process analysis is a modeling strategy undertaken with the goal of describing a conditional or contingent nature of mechanisms by which a variable transmits its effect on another and testing hypothesis about such contingent effects. Now this is basically your conditional process analysis. A melding of two ideas conceptually and analytically. Now your conditional process analysis is the melding of two ideas and which are those two ideas? It's the process analysis used to quantify and examine the direct and indirect pathways through which an antecedent that is x transmits its effect on a consequent variable that is y through m. Now this is mediation or indirect effect of x on y through m. So where m is your mediating variable. Now you can have multiple mediators in a model. Whereas moderation analysis is used to examine how x influences y and whether or not this relationship is strengthening or weakening because of a third variable or it may change its direction as well. Now there are detailed videos on the concepts of both mediation and moderation on the channel. The links will be shared in the description. Now before we go on and discuss in detail how to analyze your data using process macro, it's strongly recommended that you understand the concepts of mediation and moderation. Now how do we install it? First we have to download it. So how do we download it? The link for the download will be shared. Now here is the process macro website you can go on the download link here and once you go on the download you can easily download it from here here it is so once you download it it's a zip file so just extract it in your computer so once you have extracted it it may look something like this and in there you will have your for r and spss there would be a third folder i've deleted it so I need it for SPSS, what I need, what will you do is you will go to extension, utilities and install custom dialog, locate your file, just press and open. I've already installed it. So, and it's already installed. Once it's installed, where it is, it's here, but this is a higher version of SPSS. Here it is. But what if you have got a lower version, maybe 23, 22, 20. How do you install it then? It's very simple. So if you've got an earlier version, what you need to do is you simply go to utilities here. The readme file is in the folder as well. Just go to utilities and click custom dialogues. And from that custom dialogues, click installed custom dialog and locate your file. And the extension is SPD. Here it is. Here is your file. Just right click on it. 
let's have a look at the extension as well spd and once installed you can see it in your regression menu here regression menu sub menu here process version 4 by andrew f hayes so this is how you can install your process macro in the next session we are going to focus on individual examples using process macro and we are going to analyze the data using different models now what are those models now process macro helps you analyze different models now what are those models that can that we can analyze using process macro so here are they are and the document is easily available so you these are the model templates for process macro so you, you can analyze a model which has one independent variable one dependent variable and one moderator this is the conceptual diagram and this is the statistical diagram these are the weights this is your error term this is your dependent variable xm and xm this is your interaction term now this is your model 2 with one moderator and one mediator as well now this is another model this is another simple mediating model with x y and m so these are different models there are a total of let's say there are a total of 76 models that can be analyzed using Hayes process macro so we are going to do the famous ones as well we are going to do the simple ones and we are going to do the complex ones as well thank you very much